Hey guys, I'm gonna use this 2000 Toyota Tundra to point out to you a few important fuses and relay for the operation of the starter. So to start with, I'm gonna identify a very important five amp fuse located in here. So pull this open here. Now this five amp fuse gets power from the ignition switch when the ignition switch is turned to the start position. So you can actually measure the voltage on the little contacts of the fuse. And if this fuse is getting energized when you turn the key to the start position, then you know that the ignition switch is working. Now, when this fuse gets energized by that ignition switch, it sends that voltage onto either the neutral safety switch or the clutch position switch if you've got a manual. This is an automatic, so it sends the power to the uh, neutral safety switch. Now we're gonna open this fuse box here to look at the rest of the fuses, and you do that by pushing on this tab and lifting up. This is your starter relay right here. We can try tapping on the relay while someone is holding the key to uh, the start position. Now to remove the relay, you can see there's a little tab, a little uh, detent on the relay. And there's a little piece here that you have to push on the box. So you have to push that to the side while you wiggle it and pull it up. Now I mentioned the five amp fuse that gets energized when the key is in the start position. Um, that fuse sends power to the safety switch and that power ultimately will come out here. So this pin of the relay only gets energized when you turn the key to the start position and your neutral safety switch is working. This pin receives a constant ground. The power coming in here and the ground here trigger this relay and when the relay is uh, energized it takes power from this pin and sends it to that pin. This pin right here actually goes to the starter itself and so it's a great way to test. I've got my voltmeter set up to pass voltage through it and I'm hooked into the positive side here. I can put power on this pin and it will result in the engine turning over. So that's a great troubleshooting step there. This pin goes directly to the starter. Now there are two other fuses important. There is the AM1 fuse, and the AM1 fuse provides power to your um, starter relay, and that's gonna be this fuse right here. You can look down through it. It provides constant power to that red, re that red pin right there. And that pin, of course, gets uh, connected to the starter when the relay is energized. There's another fuse AM2, which is this 30 amp fuse right there. That fuse sends power to the ignition switch. So that one sends constant power there to the ignition switch. The ignition switch then returns that power on that five amp start fuse that I pointed out to you earlier. So yeah, I hope all this info was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice for troubleshooting the starter on your Toyota Tundra. Thanks for watching.